On this RV decor series, I'm going to show you how I ripped out part of the steps to make a place for our shoes. Okay, so I already ripped this out before I started filming because I wasn't even sure if what was behind this space. And I know that I wanted to try this. Another thing I know a lot of people who do, they take these steps out and add in new steps, which I probably could do, but I feel like that's kind of beyond my expertise. So I'm not going to do that. I am going to take out, because I feel like this is going to lighten this area up. I'm taking the carpet off of the risers and putting in some peel and stick tile. I'm going to rework this so that it'll be open and we can put shoes and stuff here. So that is my goal in this video. And it's probably gonna take several days. There's no way that I'm gonna be able to do this all at one time. This was very hard to get out and there was bloodshed in the process because they had so many staples and I kept grabbing and poking my fingers and well, there's blood all over this. Then after I got this out, I looked and I'm gonna have to put a brace in the middle. It's five and a half inches deep, which is the width of a one by six. And then I'm just gonna take my one by six and cut it the height, and then I'm gonna put it in there. The first thing I need to do is I need to measure my one by and see how tall I need to cut it. And then I'm going to pull these out and then I will install those back in. I need those to support this step so that it doesn't fall down it really goes back in there really far. So what I've done is I've taken some two by sixes and I cut them down to the height that I needed between the piece of particle board and the actual step. So they fit in there really, really good tight and snug and that will hold this up. And I'm gonna take a one by six and cut it to put it in the back. So that way sealed in the back. I think I found the right thing to cut these out. I'd forgot about this when I bought my nail gun. If you bought a tool, you got a dual battery for free. That little tool, that worked perfect. It cut right through the staples, no problem. You are gonna wanna keep something because when I pull all these out, the step is just gonna fall. So I have these up under there just to hold it up, but I have to take this one out to get my backer board in. And then once I do that, then I can put my boards in there and it'll hold it all up. So you can see like my whole step is loose and wobbly. <laughs> All right, I need a two by eight instead of a, I don't know what I was thinking. I need a two by eight instead of a two by six. When I measured it, I was adding in that two inch board, but I had to take that out. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I'm crazy sometimes. It's just hard to get y'all up in here, but I took my one by six and cut it for the back. The one by six is not tall enough but a one by eight is too tall and I don't rip, just me. So what I ended up doing is I had some little burring strips. So I put the one by six all the way up to the top and then I'm gonna fill in the little spot up underneath it with this little furring strip to fill in the gap. Ugh, Cause that's what I have. So on the depth wise, I just took the two by two, I took a two by six and then I just added this two by two to it and it made it seven inches deep. If I use a two by eight, it would be seven and a half inches deep, which would be a half an inch too long. So I just decided to do it this way. I know there's probably better ways, but you're never gonna see this back here. I don't know anybody that's gonna get crawling around and looking back there. You'll never even know. And this is just how I'm doing it. And I know people are probably going, oh my God, why are you doing that when you could just rip a two by eight? Well, one, well, I don't have a two by eight and because I got two by sixes because I measured from this out instead of measuring all the way to the back. 
Now I'm going to put my piece of wood in the middle. I'm going to center it to be exactly in the center. At least I've got all my wood in. I'm going to get some L brackets to attach the step to my support and then I'm going to stain all of that and I'm going to put a little piece of trim across the bottom and then this project will be done. But then we're going to tackle the steps. Okay, so I went in the house and you know I have like tons of stuff. I found these little brackets and I put one up under here. That has completely just one of them. This side must be like stuck into the wall or something because it is secured something to the wall because the wall moves when I move this step. This side was not. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these on that side as well, but that seemed to secure it up perfect. I don't have a whole lot of time. I have a little bit of time left that I could, uh, I can work on this, but I'm gonna get as much as I can done. Also, to help hold this step up, I ended up taking two of these that I had extra and I put them up there like this and I nailed them into that board to give a bigger surface. And then I'm going to clean this piece, but I have this little piece of wood to put on the front edge of this piece of plywood to finish it off. Just to make myself feel better, I ended up going and getting some of these chair brackets is what they're called. I just like how they are better than an L bracket. So I added a few of these to the step just to make sure that it is secure. It felt secure with just two of these, but I wanted two more of them. So I added those. I was gonna stain and leave the wafer board on the bottom. On the next episode, I'm changing out these risers and I'm putting in some tile. So I think I'm gonna add that tile to the bottom there and that'll cover that up. So now I'm gonna stain the wood that you can see. All right, I've got that stained and now I'm gonna cut my pieces of tile and put them on the bottom. So I had added this here to put our shoes in and it has worked great. Well, I was wanting to redo these steps. I did not want to add another step, which a lot of people do they add make it three steps because these are such big steps but I didn't want to do that. This is part one of a two video series and then the second part is I'm going to take this carpet off and lighten up this space by adding tile. I finished this down here. Now the only thing that I haven't totally finished and I'm waiting until I do this because I still not a hundred percent sure. I cut these pieces of tile which is what I'm going to put up there to cover up this wafer board here. I think if I stained the wafer board, I don't even think that you would know that the wafer board is there. So I'm not 100% sold yet on those being in there. I think they look good, but I'm not like ready to glue them down yet. And I'll probably do that in the second series of this when I show you how I do the tile up here. But for this series, I just wanted to do this part because, well, I feel like it took a little longer than what I wanted and I just wanted to turn this into a two-part series. I love this extra space that I had down here. I should have used two by eights, but I only had two by sixes in my stash, and I didn't want to have to go buy a long eight foot two by eight to just have a little bit of wood. So I used these two by sixes, and then I took some of the wood that I had pulled off and put it on the back of them to finish them up against the back. And then the back piece, I had a two by six and not a two by eight. So I took the two by six and put it up against the back. And then I had an extra piece of wood that I put down at the bottom. I'll never see them. It really won't matter. If it wasn't for this door, I don't think I could have gotten in here and done this. This was so hard to get in there and tear stuff out. I've seen so many people do this and I was like, I want to do that. I just got a wild hair and I ripped it all out and I was worried that Bill was going to want to kill me. He hasn't seen this yet and he probably won't see it until it's all finished because I like it that way. If I show him during the process, he is not a fan, but when he sees it finished, he's all good. I even, I'm thinking, because I do have this rack that I had built here for our shoes and I love this rack. We use this rack all the time, but it seems like there's always an extra pair of shoes laying here, so I thought it would be good to have this space 
to put shoes up under there because you can put a couple of pair of shoes up under there. It works great. I also, I'm thinking about measuring it. It would look really good to put a cool, couple of little baskets up under there that you could put some extra things. It would just be great extra storage. Well, make sure that you're subscribed and hit that bell notifications. So next week, when I'm doing the tile on the stair risers, you'll be notified. Let me know what you think about this modification, if it's something that you've been wanting to do in your RV. Till next time, like and subscribe.